Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, we will continue with organic chemistry and you will find out how to name organic amines in this video. But before that, what does organic amine look like? Look at this. We are getting a general formula. This is RNH2 and I am going to split the compound into two parts. What you have here NH2 is the amino group or amine group. R is alkyl group or an aryl group. And we got one example over here. Just want to let you know we split the compound into two parts. That is the amino group and what we got here is the alkyl group. Let's see how can we name this amine. There are a couple of different ways in which we name the amines. One of the common method is you simply use the alkyl or aryl group as it is and then you add the word amine. For example, if you get C2H5NH2, we split that into two parts. We use the alkyl group and we put the word amine. If you have more than one alkyl group, you are going to use all those alkyl groups. Just make sure you arrange them in alphabetical order and at the end add the word amine. Sometimes people just use amino word in the beginning and you end the chain as it is. So it could be amino methane, amino ethane and so on. The third method is the one which is IUPAC method. What we do is from alkane, we remove that E and we take the name of that alkane without E and we add the word amine there. Let's see how can we work on this with the given compound. So that's our amine and we got the alkyl group which is ethyl group and of course NH2 is our amino group. Using our first method, we just take the alkyl group as it is and you add the word amine, ethylamine. That's it. The second method is we put amino prefix before the alkane and it's two carbon chain. So you just put ethane there. And the third method is we take the parent chain, two carbon atom. So it is ethane, remove that E. And then you are going to add amine to that. So that is what we got. Ethan amine. Are you guys ready now to work on some examples? Let us get started. This is our first example. I am going to again split this. So I get the amino group towards the end. And then I need to count the number of carbon atoms. The numbering begins with the carbon atom which is closest to that NH2. So there we go. We got a phi carbon atom chain. So phi stands for penta, pentane. So I can write this as pentyl amine or I can write this as amino pentane or I can use the third method which is you begin with pentane, remove that E and you are going to add after that amine. So it becomes penton amine. Look at the second example. There is the amino group. But that is not at the end. It is attached to the carbon atom in the middle. So when you number the carbon atoms, we have to make sure the carbon atom holding that amino group gets the lowest number. In this case, we can go either way. Still this carbon atom number will be 2. So what is the name of the parent chain? It is three carbon atoms. So it will be propane. We are going to remove that E and we are going to add the word amine there. But wait a second. The amine comes at position 2. So we can say propane 2 and add the word amine there. How about next one? This is little complicated. We got NH and not NH2. So what do we do in this case? 
In this case, imagine first of all if you have only the compound where it was NH2. This will be named as ethyl group here and that is the amine. So we will name that as ethyl and then amine. What happened here was one of the hydrogen got substituted by methyl group. So we can write down that as N methyl. That means at nitrogen atom we got methyl substituent and the remaining part remains same. So it's ethyl and it will be amine. Just a point to note down the amine which we got here ending with NH2 is called as primary amine. This one is called as secondary amine and when we turn to the next page what we got here is called as tertiary amine. We will talk about this more in detail later on but the main point to remember is when you see a nitrogen in compound it could be either one of those amines primary secondary or tertiary and the naming depends upon that. Imagine if that was only NH2 group here. How will you name this? It's the parent chain is 2 carbon atom. So it will be ethyl. And we are going to remove that E and add the word. The two hydrogen atoms are substituted by methyl groups. So we can say NN dimethyl. So we got the compound NN dimethyl ethyl amine. How about next one? It's a cyclic compound that is cyclohexane and that is of course the amino group. So it will be cyclohexane and you can add the word amine there. We can also call this as cyclohexyl amine or we can call this as amino cyclo hexane. How about the next compound? This ring which we see here is a benzene ring and to the benzene ring we got amino group there. So we are going to use that parent name as benza and then you are simply going to add the word amine. So benzamine and just for your information the other common name for this compound is aniline. So guess what? You guys learn now how to name an organic amine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.